chili out. And that is one big fish. <laughs> Good morning from Kamloops, BC. Today, we are making a four hour trek on a highway called the Coquihalla Highway. It's got a bit of a bad reputation for being vicious and a little bit dangerous. It is a very high mountain pass with a steep decline on the opposite side that we're going. The climb up isn't so bad on this side. It's the decline on the other one that's quite brutal. So brutal that they film a TV series on that highway. The TV series is called The Highway Through Hell. And when you watch that series, you see all of the crazy, nasty wrecks and just carnage on that highway. Well, we're making the trek through there today on our way to see my mom. So, a little cloudy outside, a little cool out, but we're gonna embark on this journey today. So, everybody, cross your fingers. Let's go. I thought for sure I'd be biting my nails at this point, not at the summit on the Coquihalla, eating a bowl of cereal and celebrating because there's no snow. There's snow way up there on that mountain peak, but there's nothing here. So we are 4,000 feet above sea level. And usually this part of the highway is quite the damn doozy. I'm not surprised, middle of November, there's no snow here. I'm okay with that. Being back in a place that's so familiar over my lifetime, I've, I've never left BC pretty much. I've been in this province since the day I was born. So all of this stuff, I've been there, done that, took the t-shirt home and even made a video in it in the last few years. So coming back here is a bit of an odd feeling for me because I, you know, I'm gonna be here for a few months over the winter and I'm just thinking about business as I'm driving down this hill. What am I gonna film when I'm back? Where am I gonna go? I got lots of ideas. I would like to take my van on those back roads and beat the crap out of it for a little bit and put Andy's fancy woodworking in the back of my van to the test. Is it gonna stand up the test of time? Is it gonna break down <laughs> those rocky roads? Well, now that we're back in rugged BC, we're gonna find out. We're heading into Abbotsford, BC to go see my mom and this is a bit of a tough one because my mom has had some medical problems since I left on this trip. Chris is just 
It's like, I want to play. Dude, that cat will give you one good swat and you're done. <laughs> hey, what is that thing, buddy? Trust me, dude. That cat's got claws, man. You'd be over. The last cat that smacked you didn't have claws. This one does. <laughs> Bad one. That's not a bad one. There's no foot, Mom. On my leg. Well, Mom. My mom lost a little bit of weight since I left on my trip. <laughs> what? Well, it's true, though, isn't it? What? It's true, though, isn't it? Yeah. So. She might have lost her foot, but she gained some cool sets of wheels here. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Ready? People, if they watch this video, they're like, were you really racing around the wheelchairs? <laughs> you have wheelie bars on yours too? Yep. No, 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 those are so you don't fall backwards. You can never fall backwards. Where's that one say on the back of that one? Nothing is not, not as smooth as yours. Motion composites. What did you mind say? Quickie. Quickie is much better. Yeah, yours says quickie on the back. This is much better. Yeah? You said it would roll better, it doesn't. I love it that it says quickie. <laughs> We're gonna get you some Canadian flags for the back. Oh. Like my van. I kind of have mixed feelings about being back here in my hometown of Abbotsford. It was really great to see my mom yesterday and as you can tell she's in a wheelchair and missing some pieces <laughs> since I left on this trip. Diabetes has been kicking the crap out of her once again. Uh, this time she had a sore on her foot and they ended up taking off her leg just below the knee. It's taken her a little bit to get used to it but she's now in good spirits and uh, we had a really great visit yesterday. I'm going back to see her this morning. And this afternoon, I have a dinner date with my beloved little daughter, Danica, and I'm super excited. I get to pick her up from school and we're just gonna go hang out and stuff our faces with probably ice cream and, you know, typical, typical daddy-daughter <laughs> daughter time stuff. Um, but I got really mixed feelings about being back here in my hometown. I, I, I don't like the vibe of here. It's me and it, we don't click very well together. So uh, I'd like to get out of this town as soon as I can. Um, I'm really pumped about going to check my mail, actually. I haven't checked my mail in four months, and I've been getting emails saying that there's packages there. So if you guys have sent me anything, I'm stoked to see what's there. And um, if you guys wanna send us stuff, you're welcome to send us. Our address, our shipping address is in the description of this video and every video. Um, Cause I know people have been asking about sending stuff for cruise for Christmas. You are welcome to send whatever you guys want. Just be conscious about the space that I live in. <laughs> uh, we've had some crazy things people have sent us in the last few years, um, fun stuff, but always super exciting to get things from you guys. Um, I don't know what's in my mailbox. I've been getting random messages. I'm like, another package? What did I order? I don't I didn't order anything. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. And I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my day today and settle back into being here. The plus side about being here is it's warm. Currently, right now, it's 11 degrees Celsius. 
Yes, please. Now that is a typical winter day here on the west coast of BC that I can get used to because this is what winters are supposed to feel like. All right, everybody, take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys soon.